quick shout out to my patrons. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey y'all, it's Kay from the Literary Apothecary. Today we're going to be talking about Sunreach by Brandon Sanderson. This is novella number one in the Skyward series. So first you have Skyward, then Starsight, and then Sunreach. I gave this five out of five stars. This is going to be a pretty short review because I can't really talk about a lot of what happened because then it'll give away spoilers for the first two books. Um, but a quick spoiler free summary of this book. This novella takes place after the events of Starsight. We are now back on Detritus while Spencer and Emba and Doomslug are stuck in the nowhere. FM and Jorgen are left with a new mission to figure out how to use the hyperdrives. What I loved about this book is seeing things in a different point of view. Y'all know I love Mbot so much. He's one of my favorite characters ever. Um, and we don't get him in this book. And a lot of people thought that I wouldn't like this at all because we don't get Mbot. In the previous books, I wanted more Mbot. Well, I got over that. I mean, I still love Mbot and I still want more Mbot. But I was okay with not having Mbot because this book revolved around a different character. If we have Mbot in the book, I want more Mbot. But if we don't have him in there and it doesn't have, you know, Spencer in it, then I'm okay. I loved having the perspective of FM. It was so, so refreshing to have a different character because Spencer got on my nerves a bit at times. So I was really, really glad to have a different perspective here. Um, I loved seeing their study of the slugs and how they worked and naming them all and bonding with them. I love the slugs. I, you know, I didn't really have a lot of strong feelings towards Doomslug in the first two books. I gravitated towards Emba and Doomslug was kind of in the background for me. But this book made me appreciate the slugs and pay attention to them so much and I loved it. And I loved the humor that took place in this book. This book was so funny. It made me laugh so much. I can't wait to read the other novellas. Hopefully very soon. Um, yeah, five out of five stars. I don't think I would change a single thing that happened in this book. I loved everything about this book and I can't wait for more. Um, I loved, I believe that each one of these novellas is from a different point of view and I can't wait for more because it, like I said, it's so refreshing to have a book outside in Spence's world, but outside of Spence's perspective. Um, she's very dramatic and melodramatic at times and just like any teenager would be. And that wears on me. I get tired of that. So to have different perspectives is absolutely great. Um, we got some characters that came back from Skyward and I loved seeing that and just, you know, seeing a different perspective of Detritus besides just Spencer and her, you know, doom and gloom was absolutely great. I loved it so much. I can't wait to read the rest of the books. If you've read Sunreach before, let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. Who was your favorite character? Um... I think my favorite character aside from FM, who's your favorite slug? Uh, I think my favorite slug is fine in here. I loved her, she was so great. Um, let me know who your favorite slug is in the comments below. As always, my Patreon and my Discord information will be in the description below. Keep reading and I love you all to the moon and back. Bye.